Beautiful animals. Okay, Brian. Let's go fishing. Enough <laughs> talking for now. You know, Jerry, it's been almost 20 years, believe it or not, since we did this. In fact, we're so old that I still have a VHS of steelheading made simple. That's scary. It's really scary. In fact, I don't know how you play this. I don't think they make VHSs anymore, but uh, there you go. I still have a, a VHS tape of it. But uh, so 20 years, man. But you know, I, I still think that steelheading made simple, uh, it's still uh, viable today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, the, uh, the techniques that we go over there, the dead drifting uh, style of fishing, the way you set up, still the same stuff that we're doing today yeah I mean the, the rods haven't changed all that much right um, the, we show basic leader formula in here that I still use today right um, we talked about the flies they really haven't changed all that much um, so you know the techniques and the equipment that we talk about in this DVD I think they're still valid today um, and uh, I think I still think this is, is worth watching yeah, and you know, from a beginning standpoint, for somebody really just wanting stuff broken down in its simplest form, yeah, where it's understandable, how to put stuff together, and again for again for the dead drift style fishing, indicator fishing that is done all across the Great Lakes and I mean a lot of other places, uh, you know, all that information is there. You know, granted, there's been some upgrades in in equipment mainly in lines i guess if yeah, anything else but true. the rods are not that much different yeah we've got sealed drag reels and stuff now but you know the basic way everything is done still the same thing even the flies haven't changed a whole lot no. you know not from a dead drifting style of fishing the flies that we talk about in this video are still the flies that we sell today and that our guides are still still using today yep. so but on top of that then there's the fish um you know this fish uh, which i was lucky enough to net for you thank you uh i believe at the time and maybe still is the unofficial state record for ohio yeah you know we we did the length and uh girth yep. measurements and you do the calculation and, and based on that it was it would have been a state record at the time yep. i don't think anymore but you know fish was let go uh, and that was it. Yep. You know, but it's it's on film, and that's we still look back at it if we want. That's what I always tell people: is the unofficial state record. It came came in at just under 21 pounds. Uh, unofficial state record. We didn't kill the fish and have it registered, but we did get it all on film. So there it is, right there in the DVD. So. You know, it was uh, really fun uh, to do this video. I still remember when we were filming it and yep. where we filmed it. And yep. uh, uh, I still think it's valid today. So what we're going to do, friends, is we're going to be putting segments of Steelheading Made Simple up on Mad River Outfitters' YouTube channel. Uh, it'll be released over the course of the next couple of months in little segments. And uh, on behalf of Jerry and I, we hope uh, you enjoy it. And we hope that it helps you in becoming a, a better steelheader. Yep. Get out there and fish. Few fish excite freshwater fly fishers like the steelhead. These migratory trout are famous for their strength and their acrobatic fighting abilities. As steelhead numbers have declined in their native Pacific Northwest, the Great Lakes region has become an important destination for steelhead fishermen. Just hooking one of these magnificent fish is a goal for many anglers. In this video, we will show you a fly fishing system that will help you become a better steelheader. This method can be used anywhere steelhead are found, but it's especially suited to the tributaries of the Great Lakes. 
Your hosts, Jerry Darkus and Brian Fleshig, bring with them 25 years combined steelheading experience. Jerry, a well-known guide and writer, was one of the first anglers to chase Lake Erie steelhead with a fly rod. He has spent thousands of hours on the steelhead waters of the Great Lakes. Brian operates one of the Midwest's largest fly fishing outfitting services. A seasoned steelheader, Brian caught his first trout on a fly when he was seven years old. Today, he is an accomplished guide, instructor, and fly tire. Steelhead, these legendary fish that cause so much excitement, are rainbow trout with an urge to wander. These fish leave the waters where they are born and migrate downstream to a larger body of water. After feeding on a wealth of bait fish and other organisms for several years, mature steelhead enters tributary streams to spawn. The Great Lakes region, with its diversity of steelhead strains, has runs of fish practically year-round. The timing of these runs varies, with fall and spring typically being peak seasons. It's critical that the angler know the timing of steelhead runs in the region where he will be fishing. Periods of high water will usually trigger fish movements. The Great Lakes region was originally stocked with steelhead in the late 1800s. Today, nearly all Great Lakes tributaries receive runs of steelhead. There are areas where successful reproduction occurs and others where runs must be maintained by annual stocking. A certain number of fish tend to wander from the area where they were stocked and may enter other tributaries. The fly fishing methods shown in this video are designed to help you catch these fish where they are located the majority of the time, in pools, pockets, and other holding water. The technique is quite simple and extremely effective. In fact, it may be the single most effective technique to use in many tributary streams. Let's go fishing. Let's <laughs> talk for now. Six or eight spawning beds back in here. Yeah, I saw the little, yeah, uh, little divots there. Yeah, you know, the fish aren't on them right now because the water's so cold. So what I'm going to guess is that they've moved up into the deeper water and they're going to be laying, you know, right in this rest in this current right here. It's a nice deep slot in there. Here we have a shallow ripple that drops into a deep hole or pool. The water is cold this morning, so we would expect to find fish resting in the deepest part of the pool. 